Hey guys, what's up? I'm Aimless and today I have the second of this episode of my learn how to ME system or how to build an ME system series and all over here is the last tutorial. It was the, the recent video of this episode, the series. So it was about how to build a very simple ME system for the very beginner. So if you have not seen it, go make sure you watched it before that you can keep up so today we're gonna talk about the the cables the different kind of cables and also the different kind of controllers or the controller setup but yeah let's start with the cables so ME system, the ME system or applied energetic mods uh, has three different kind of cables we have the ME glass cable in my case it's green you can change the color just with some dye then we have the ME smart cable which is green as well and the ME dense cable so you might sit here and wonder what the fuck is the difference between all of them so this is very very simple explained but I have some examples for you later so I would say I tell you later because right now it's a little bit hard to understand all you have to know is that these cables are different and yeah everything I'm gonna show you at the next why can you change the color of those uh, cables yeah it's pretty useful actually because as you can see I have a green cable and I connect and yes you see the cables connected as well they do the same and if I have a like a brown dense cable now nothing I could just build it like this see I could build a lot of cables right next to each other which is very useful but if you are like a person and you're like me and you love green and you're happy and you just want to use green cables then you have uh, another opportunity which is actually uh, a lot more effort but watch this you have the cable anchors which you made pretty simple but you all should have not enough items so you can look and yeah you can just place them on the cables and now my green cable is not gonna connect either see but it's a lot of work even if you have a long long line of uh, cable this will be annoying so better use this version so you can see just place it it's not gonna connect so the next thing imagine you just built a house very nice and you have your your glass cable shown up from here you you might be like oh this is fucking ugly yes right but there's an option you can just craft a cable facade and place it you see it's it's covering so you can cover the cable completely and Usually not enough item should show the recipe for this one, but the last time I searched for it a long long time So I'm just gonna explain you how you craft it. So Just Say this is my crafting field. So you pl place a block Whichever block you want and place those uh, cable anchors around it and You should get cable facade. So just in case not enough item is not going to show up for you because I had the problem And I was like what the fuck. I'm sure the facades exist and yeah So I would say let's jump to the next one So guys, we had the second step of my tutorial now. We're talking about the ME controller So what is this beautiful looking color changing thing? It, it looks good. I love it. So yeah, what is it? It's basically just a block which needs to be powered. So I placed a creative capacitor bank underneath it so we have power just so you're not wondering where is the power source. Now you know it's underneath. So what is this beautiful block doing? So that's very simple. First we should talk about the cables again because every cable or the dense cables, the big ones, they have as you can see on the top 32 channels which means you can th put 32 things like input buses, export buses, terminals, drives. As you can see, drives, you can connect drives. And you see, I connected three drives. So three out of 32 channels are used right now. One, two, three, which is correct. So what is the controller doing now? 
So every face or every side of the controller has um, 32 channels, which means we can take 32 out of here, 32 out of here, and 32 out of here, 32 out of here, and on the bottom the same thing, but if we're gonna do it on the bottom as well, we won't have energy, so I would not recommend to do so. Yeah, so it just makes your ME system bigger, so that we can go like and say, okay, I want uh, 32 ME drives in this direction, so I can place 32 in this direction, it's no problem. As soon as you uh, place another one, like a 33rd, it's gonna say device missing channel, which means there are no channels left, so you shouldn't place it, it's not gonna work. So now you might ask, okay, we know the dense cables now, but where's the point of the smart cables and of the glass cables? And why should I make like the dense cables when the smart cables are very cheap and the glass cables are much cheaper? So that's very simple because as you can see, the dense cables, they have 32 channels. But the smart cables have only 8 channels. And the glass channels have, uh, glass cables have 8 channels as well. So you should use dense cables to connect them to the controller to get as much channels as possible because, you know, think big or go home. And then I would connect the ME smart cable. This is how I do it usually. And yeah, the ME smart cable is very nice. It's basically just a dense cable but smaller. So you see, one out of eight channels, but the cable is expensive. You will need a lot of redstone, a lot of glowstone and stuff like this. So you might be like, why should I make the smart cable? And you said that the, the glass cable has the same amount of channels as well. So where's the difference? So imagine you go very big and build a very big system and somewhere it says device missing channel. And now you're looking for, hmm, Okay, okay, go to the controller and see, okay, here we have full channels, okay. Then you go to the next one and see, okay, there we have full channels as well. Then you go to the next one and realize, wait, we don't have channel here. Yes, right, it's not showing the channels, so it's just ugly. It is just uh, messing around. So I would recommend you to use the smart cables because they show you the channels and later you find mistakes or errors you build in the systems a lot easier. So, but if you're a person which has not enough items, I found a really cool way to, uh, to avoid using only this one and only this one. So I came up with this one. It's, it works the same. So you can see I connected the glass cable to a smart cable and the smart cable can tell me, okay, one out of eight channels, very nice, so I don't have to look here. Here I have the cheap cables, here I have the smart cables, and the smart cable is gonna tell me what's going on. So I hope I told you, yeah, I tried to told it the best way, but it's quite complicated. So yeah, I would say let's jump into the third step. So guys, another thing I wanna show you about um, the ME controller is that the ME controller you only you can only have one in your system. If I go and say like okay I want another one here, you see they turn red and it's not working anymore. So you see zero out of 32 channels, which cannot be true because as you can see the ME drive is connected as well, so there must be a mistake. So as soon as I remove that one, um it's back to one out of 32, so you see it's all good, never place second somewhere else. And now I'm gonna show you how to place the controllers properly. So guys, as you can see, I, I set up a lot over here. And yeah, I just gonna start explaining what's important. So as you can see, I tried to go up and stack a lot of controllers onto each other. And you see, it goes red. So you can only place seven on top of each other and the eighth will turn everything red. So, not good. So the maximum height and the maximum length and the maximum depth is uh, 7. So as you can see, this works, won't work. But if I want to go in this direction, it will work until I reach the 7 again. 
So that is very, very important to know. So here you can see this is seven on seven on seven. So if I'm gonna place another one here, nope, not gonna work. If I place another one here, not gonna work either. If I place one here, it's gonna work. And yeah, that's very important. And there's one more thing because I saw a lot of people were like, okay, I have a very good setup for the ME system, and they 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 be like this. They they place the blocks like this. And what do we see? They turn gray. What does that mean? Gray means is not working. You cannot connect the cables. See, they don't connect. They just connect to to the good looking flashing blocks. So never, never ever do this. This is a waste of blocks and a waste of space. So I have very, very, very simple method built over here. So it's not the most efficient. That is for sure, but it's one that you can build very, very simple and very, very quick. So it's basically just a block seven on seven on seven, and I just placed some some rows over here, here, and I did this on every side, as well as on the top and on the bottom. The reason why I've not done this in here is because it's not going to work or it's not going to give me more space. Because you should imagine if I want to take cables out of here, they will connect up here again and they will mess it up. So this is not a good idea for me. And yeah, so the last thing I'm going to show you in this tutorial is uh, the, 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 the best method. It took me about half an hour to build it because it's very complicated and I would say let's jump into it. So guys, this is the best setup you can pl you can get. It's the Hilbert's curve. Um, for some nerds, they might know what that is, but yeah, I found that one on Reddit, and I thought it's fucking smart because this is actually the best uh, the best way to build it. It's the Hilbert's curve, and it looks complicated. It really looks complicated. I'm gonna show you a picture. And yeah, if you want to know how to build this one, if you want to make me a tutorial on this one, uh, just tell me because I can I can show you now because it took me half an hour to build this one and I messed a lot of things up because the pictures, wow, messed up, but you will see. So this is the best way because you don't have any cables connecting each other, you have the perfect use, you use every single space of the 7x7 seven seven area and yeah this is basically the the best way to place your blocks so if you have a lot of ME controllers I guess it's 124 yeah I think it's 124 for this uh, size yeah then go and build it like this if you don't build it like this but you can also just go for small one like this, you can also like take the cables out of here. See, we can. Oh, that was stupid. We just take the brown ones, take the brown ones. So you see, we can take a lot of cables out of here without any problems. Swear, the same works here. So you see, this is efficient as well. So if you like to build one of those, they are very simple. You can just place one block as well. I show that you know, that one over over here. It's, it works as well, but if you go big, that's what I like to do. You should go for this or this one. And yeah, guys, I hope uh, you liked this tutorial. If you did, leave me a like and I'm going to upload the, the next episode soon. It's going to be auto crafting, so things will get very exciting, right? And yeah, if you liked it, leave me a like. Or tell me in the comments and I would say bye bye.